Welcome guys, this is Mr. Balberto, and today we are going to be playing Valiant Hearts, The Great War. This is a game I've really been looking forward to from Ubisoft. It's about four people and their journeys through World War I. Um, it's a puzzle adventure game from what I know. It's gotten really good reviews from what I've seen. I'm really excited to play it. Um, that's about it, let's get to it. Game saves automatically, okay, I don't have to worry about that then. Really inspired by the events unfolding on the Western Front between August 1st, 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Carl is one of them. I guess we start with Carl. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away Emil as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for San Miguel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. I can already tell this is going to be a beautiful and incredibly sad game. <laughs> right those buckets, guys. There's going to be tears. Gotta use the arrow keys, can't use WASD, that's different. Tab for my books. Alright, what we got? Oh, that's a lot of reading there. That's not even in... That's English. <laughs> um, the war is declared on June 28th, 1914. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the Australian Hungarian throne, was assassinated in Servadravo. I'm not going to read all this. You guys can read it if you don't wish. And the debacle. Uh, August 1914. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, we got facts and items, that's about it. You got some funky sound in German, bro. They gonna cut my hair? No, I like my hair. Oh, I got suited up quick. <laughs> They're saying you cut my hair, though. <laughs> Grab a trumpet. I'll talk to the trumpet guy. Charge! Yeah. Oh, go! Oh. Batman jump. D? I guess you're really not supposed to use the mouse with this. Space. Left shift. Oh, and space, okay. Uh oh. 
Oh, grenade. Oh, grenade. How do I attack again? E? Yeah. Ah, wrong button. Oh, yeah, I don't have to hold space. I pick it. Oh! Thank you, sir. Oh, oh Batman jump. I'm ready for war. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, space. Raise the flag! Republic of France! My dear Marie, we are on our way to Paris. The atmosphere here is strangely cheerful. I hope that the harvest goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. Hey, what you guys doing with that guy? Looks like that one's right there. Hey, Rebel Ball. Ah, shush. Wait, hold up. I got this. I got these things. Uh, do. That didn't work. Um. Okay. Got oh, Bell. I didn't work either. Oh, I gotta, I gotta pull the lever up by the conductor guy. But I'm not sure how. Maybe I'm supposed to throw this this way. He loves wine. More wine? Not red wine. He wants white wine. Ah, he wants that white wine. Or a whistle. I got a whistle. <laughs> he's getting. He's grabs another one out of nowhere. Uh, there you go, sir. Mm. Thank you. New diary entry. Alright, got some diaries going on. August 12th of 1914. I started training at the military camp today. I can't help thinking of Carl, who's probably doing the same in Germany. The declaration of the war has created havoc. I hope Marie and the neighbors manage to finish the harvest in time. This guy. I don't know his name yet. August 12th of 1914. At least I can't wait to get to fighting. Maybe it'll erase some of the pain I feel inside. August 1st of 1914. For the girl we haven't met yet. Bells all over Paris stated chiming... Started chiming at 4 p.m. this afternoon. It was eerie. Somebody in the street told me it was for the troops' mobilization in case Germany declares war. It would be a right for her to father to find out what's going on in Belgium. Sorry. <laughs> um... August of 1914. It feels strange to return to Germany. At least Emil can take care of Marie and Victor. Things should calm down in the months to come. It's also meaningless. Oh, that's, um, Carl. And then we got, um, Marie, I guess. After Carl, it's daddy's turn to leave. Why did this have to ha call him up? Was it... Wasn't it enough to expel my dear sweet love from these lands? Why did they want to put daddy in uniform? He's too old to fight, and now he's left me all alone to harvest on its way. Vic Victor to take care of. Hmm, okay. Oh, ladder? Why no ladder? He likes music. Let's find him some music. Sir? Play. Ah, just simple 
Let's find that ladder, bro. I think they would find it weird, a guy running on top of the train. Even the collector went to get some music. Space bar! Space. We gotta hold it. Got you, bro. Don't worry. What is it? Right. Well, I heard him say his name was Frank, but not sure. August 21st, 1914. Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. Forward march! I guess I'm the flag guy. Uh oh. Charge! Oh, jeez, he looks deadly. Watch out, man! Oh! Oh! Was that supposed to happen? Nope, you're supposed to dodge it. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Alright, not again. Nope. Nope. Oh, all the mortars stop. Sweet. Let's fight! Colonel! I think you are a colonel! Holy crap, machine gun! I did it again. <laughs> Alright. Avoid the machine gun fire. Oh, explosions everywhere! Oh, jeez, that guy has no legs or arm. Wow, it's... Yeah. This is gonna be a very sad game. I can see it coming. I should run for... Oh, I should have ran through it. I don't know why I stopped. Alright, gotta get through it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Am I the only one left? Oh! Oh! They shot me and I think it was supposed to happen. Oh. They just slaughtered us. Don't tell me he's dead. Like, dead dead. I'll be pissed. <gasps> no. Miss Marie Chayon. Private Emile Chayon, from the 150th Infantry Regiment, was wounded by enemy fire on August 21st. He has been captured by the enemy. Hopefully, you shall receive news from him soon. Okay, if he's only captured, I mean, cool. How far he was dead already? I was about to say, what the Originally hell? Originally from America, enlisted voluntarily in the French forces at the start of the war. Behind his bravery, hid a man already devastated by the war's effects. A man with one sole obsession. Punish those who had destroyed his life. It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron von Hoff. Well, it looks like the next part's gonna be a pretty revenge-filled one, to <laughs> say the least. Uh, but that's it for this one. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you guys come back again for the next part. It'll be up soon. Uh, but thank you. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again later.